Ah, bonjour. Um, my Nishnabe knows when um, Skogish go quay. Um, Makondo de Niu Mede. That means I'm at my fourth level of that understanding in the Mede Lodge, Medewin Lodge. My name is Marie Eshkebak, and I'm from uh, Wikwemakong here, the community. Lived here most of my life. Uh, had to leave for a while to go to school. And I, I would like to uh, share a little bit today about the uh, sixth prophecy. And those of you who have been listening to these prophecies uh, over the years, uh, it's been mentioned by various people. But in that sixth prophecy, uh, it talks about this uh, this illness this uh, that that's going to put people out of balance. And it's going to change our, our lives. And at this time when uh, the earth is very still, there's no trains, no planes, nothing's moving. And uh, we are asked to, uh, to be in solitude, to, to, be in, to stay at home. To, and we do that. Well, those of you who have gone out to fast, to sit on Mother Earth, you, you will know what that feeling is. Uh, because when you sit upon Mother Earth, you're, um, you're in solitude. And that's the way we are right now. We're in solitude. And it's at this time where many of us, uh, we connect with that level, that fifth level of consciousness, they call it. It's the fifth level of your connection with the Earth. Uh, right now, uh, we're working the garden. And for Willie and I, we're making that connection to the Earth because the earth gives us sustenance, gives us life. And also some of us are going down by the water and you're making that connection with the water, Nebe And also making the connection with, with the birds, with, with the animals uh, upon the earth. And so those of us who have received that training over the years, you know, who have gone out to fast every year, you, you'll know what it is to, to, to stay quiet, you know, to, to, to have that connection uh, with, within you. Um, just to give an example of that connection, uh, one morning I was uh, praying with my uh, tobacco and I was uh, talking to the birds, miigwech uh, for the, the beautiful singing, that, uh, those songs in the morning that they, they sing around five, six o'clock, uh, I saw two of them come to my window. They just flew by my window. And right then and there, I knew I made made a connection. And over there in Chiging, we went to do a burial ceremony. And again, I was talking about the birds and making that connection. And one of the people that were there said they heard the birds singing when I was talking. And so, it's like they're, 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 they're connecting. And the moon, uh, the moon teachings, uh, we were given those as grandmothers to, to, to share with the people. The moon, we plant by the moon. Um, the, if the moon is, uh, there's a new moon coming up this week. And after that new moon, um, hopefully we'll get some rain to, to water our, uh, our soils, to, to, to water them, to moist, make them moist. So the moon, you know, in that original teaching, the, uh, when Jemenado, he said to um, the Nokomis, you look after this creation now, you, you take care of it, you renew it, you, you give it life. And so that responsibility was given to us as, as Kwe to um, pray for that water and um, teach our young ones, our, our, our children, teach our, our uh, grandchildren about the water. Take them down to the river or to the lake in um, April after ice breakup. 
take them down there and um, have them rub that new water, that fresh water, that clean water, that powerful water. They say that's very powerful, that water, after Shkukumekwe goes on her, her fast, winter fast, that first water. And, have, and wash your hands. If those of you who work, who work with medicines, put that water on your hands. Wash that. We all have that third eye, that ability to see ahead and to feel ahead and to know what's coming. Wash your third eye. We all have that third eye. Wash your mouth. If you're one that uses foul language, wash your mouth. Ask the spirit to take away that foul language from you, especially young people. You know, um, I know a lot of you are restless today. A lot of you are angry today. A lot of you uh, don't know what to do with yourselves. So take the time to do that for yourself, you know. Wash your eyes, put that fresh water in your eyes. Because when you get to my age, you might get a sickness called cataracts. I don't have those yet, but that's what elderly people get is cataracts. So take care of, of your, your, your physical, physical self. And also your spirit self. When you go and sit on Mother Earth, when you go and um, renew yourself, when you go and learn those teachings of patience, you know, when you look at a tree, you, 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 you learn patience from that tree because that tree is sitting there in one place. It grows, we grow. It has life, we have life. And so that's how you learn that patience. Ask that tree to teach you what patience is and to feel it and to know it. Because a lot of us don't know it. Uh, we have a hard time with uh, patience. You want everything right away. And your first bundle is given to you when you bring life into this world as a woman. So teach your, your children. Give them their first bundle. This is a feast bowl that we use in our lodges. It's just a plain wooden bowl. Give that to your children as their first bundle. When we put our young, new women out to fast, that's the first thing they get is, is that bundle. And uh, they, they hang on to that for a whole year while they're on their cycle. That way they'll know who they are, who they are as, as a kwe. Wear that skirt. Don't be afraid to put that skirt on. The spirit recognizes you as kwe when you wear that skirt. And as you get older, we have a responsibility to pray, to sing, and to talk for that water. And the head one is that, um, that the head one of Nebe Medido is that, uh, there's a head one out there. He's not coming into my mind. I'm probably not meant to say it, but um, begin to, to work with that solitude because that illness that's here, it was prophecy that's, that's coming. There, there's a, a, a bad, uh, I, I call it a bad spirit, that, uh, that illness. And our people have gone through a lot of that in the past. There was the early 1900s when we had the Spanish flu. Our people went through that. There's also the uh, smallpox. Our people went through that. And now we have uh, SARS that came. Now we have this COVID-19. And it's uh, taking a lot of people. I have a friend in Navajo land um, in Window Rock, Arizona. And they're, they're, they're getting it hard. There, there's over a hundred people that have died in their community and a thousand people have it. So I encourage you to, to stay home and to do social distancing. Uh, don't give our security people a hard time over there, you know, because they're trying to keep us safe. That's what it is. They, they want to keep us safe. And, and just try to practice what our ancestors left for us. 
and and it's all there in our in our lodges and right now um, some of you may you may know how to meditate okay do that by yourselves talk to the spirit talk to the animals make that connection uh, right now i'm trying to make the connection with the bear because uh, i have grandchildren living here with me and a bear has been up here every year, but I haven't seen him yet. So I'm asking him not to come too close to my house because I have little little ones here. Make that connection. Talk to them. Um, because that that's, that's who we are as Anishinaabe. We have that spirit within us. Nourish your spirit. This is the time to do it. Nourish that, that spirit uh, by, by talking to the... Uh, animals by talking to Jim and Ado in the mornings. Do that every day if you can. And you will have that solitude. You may have not gone out there and fasted in, in the bush. And uh, that's one of the most powerful things for our young men to do is to go out there and sit with Mother Earth and learn about that respect. When that sun comes up in the morning, you feel the warmth of that sun. And, and then you have, you have great respect for everything that, that's been given to us. Uh, don't throw your cigarette butts on the ground. Um, a lot of these things you, you can start doing within yourself. And I, I especially want to, uh, I guess, talk to the younger people of this community. Because I know that your mind, some of your minds are racing right now. Um, you want to go here, you want to go there, you want to do something. Uh, find some kind of hobby to keep you busy. If it's gardening, that's the time to, to make that connection and you know, plant your food. Because our ancestors who have gone on, they warned us that something is coming. And those of us who, who paid attention to that, you know, we know that it's here now. Get ready for the winter because we don't know what the winter is going to bring. Get that firewood. Get yourselves a wood stove. Make an oven outside. That's my pro next project is to make an oven outside. You know, there's a song I sing in the morning that, that helps me to look ahead. Niga you sing that song, you're talking to the spirit. That song will help you to, to look ahead. And, and I encourage you to do that for yourselves. Don't look back there because back there is darkness right now. Back there is darkness. And, and I really, really uh, feel that, that something bigger is coming. And don't let fear take over your mind. This, this COVID-19, that's what it's doing to a lot of us. It's creating fear within our mind. And, and when you carry fear, you're living in a negative state of mind. Pick up your sema, pick up, pick up your tobacco. And talk to the spirit. Talk, talk to, to, to Geminado to take that fear away because that's the first thing that comes when you die is that fear. And it's uh, darkness comes when no one lights that sacred fire for you when you pass. So respect that uh, fire, respect the water, respect all of creation. You know, it, it's uh, go and learn what that is. Because when we uh, pass away, you can take that with you. You can take respect with you. You can take patience with you. But you can't take your fancy boat, your fancy car, your fancy skidoo. You can't take those things with you because those are physical things. And that COVID-19 carries fear. It's what it's bringing to us. It's a negative. It's a very, very, it's a strong 
negative spirit that COVID-19 and it's affecting a lot of people. It's affecting, it, it's giving people heart attacks. It's giving people strokes. It's, it's uh, give, making people sick. That's how strong it is. It can make you sick. The more that you think about it, it it's going to make you sick. So take the time then to, um, to learn what our ancestors left for us. There's not many people who carry these teachings today. I learned from those who have gone on. I learned from my parents. I learned how to plant from my parents. And I, I still carry that uh, survival skill. And I'm teaching my, my grandkids right now how to, how to do these things for their own survival. I, I could go on and on and on because I have carry many teachings. So I'll share that little bit with you today. Naho, miigwech.